Good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, Mark Lambert from Thetis Pendulum Trading Group. We're on partners with Anthony Marino in our newly formed Yahoo Group. I'm going to do, do this short video basically on how to show uh, how to use vector analysis along with Elliott Wave and Fibonacci and, and so on. Kind of put a couple things together which alerted me on uh, early on on Thursday that the euro was bottoming and uh, should have a good bounce. Um, so I'm going to get right into the analysis and show you exactly what I did and why and this is going to be more of a vector analysis but then you'll see how I progress forward from there okay so we'll start off with this chart this is a chart that I had posted on a couple sites uh, I believe on uh, Thursday or Friday and as you can see it showed 272 bars up anyways this this was one of the real-time chart that I put up what I'm going to do is show dynamic trader which is where I uh, get the analysis from um, basically as, as you can see the previous chart was right here at the bottom and now we've started to prog progress upwards uh, this is just the uh, added data that I put in just uh, you know yesterday but uh, basically with dynamic trader I get a labeling button where I can pick the swings and what it does is spits out to me the amount of bars and the amount of points or in this case pips uh, that the market moves. So I analyzed these last two swings and when you take a look at it we have uh, 726 pips, 272 bars which I put right here and right here. I'll, I'll explain this in a second. And then I have uh, 623 pips and 157 bars which I place in this. And this basically is um, just a Pythagorean theorem where the vector is actually the uh, square the uh, square um, the square root. Uh, basically, what you do is uh, 726 squared plus 700, uh, 272 squared and find its square root, and that's what it is, 775.281. So you get this vector, and then I did that also on the, on the uh, following swing. And then I try to develop a ratio right here. This is ba basically these two vector ratios that are divided by each other. And then this one is done in reverse, as you can see up here on the Excel spreadsheet. And... Uh, what we like to find in these two ratios would be something like uh, a Fibonacci ratio, having a ratio of like 0.618 or 0.81 or uh, 1.382 or something like that, uh, two, a 2, 2.618, whatever, something like that. Or you can also find a uh, square root type of, um, of ratio, like 1.732, the square root of 3, 1.4142, which would be the square root of uh, 2. Or some, uh, something like that. Another thing also that we like to see is uh, diatonic music theory. Uh, maybe a ratio of 1.125 or 1.333 or, or one of the musical ratios. And that would alert us that the market is probably going to make a good turn and a good pivot at that point in time. But obviously I didn't really have anything that worked out over here. But still, what I did is I brought the bars down. Uh, basically, I just did the same thing. Th these were just the, the bars divided by each other. 272 bars divided by 157 bars so just taking time into account the exact ratio was 1.732 which is the square root of 3 and as you can see right here this is the function I just divided the bars into each other so when you see a ratio like that appear that's a really strong indication that the market is going to pivot there uh, what type of pivot it's going to be how long it's going to last nobody knows but I do believe it will go back and uh, breach this high at one point not exactly sure what we're forming here yet but this was impulsive and this was more of a corrective wave and now I believe we're on the, uh, the inception of another move up um, and we'll, we'll see how that unfolds but this is basically how I use vector ratios and with that vector ratio now I was kind of ready to uh, see what else that the market's going to unfold I think I showed this on the last video which is just basically a setup that I set up with a 20 period triangular moving average and I also have a uh, 3 by 3 displaced moving average which is the green line right here and basically I use half charge charts this is hourlies this is 30 minutes and this is 15 minutes my early indication on uh, Thursday I believe it was Thursday morning that the market had bottom was right here as soon as we crossed uh, spe especially both of them this uh, this bar supported right on top of the 3x3 three three, and then it sh immediately shot right through this uh, this um, the triangular moving average so that was alerting me that this was an 
early possibility that we're going to be in for a decent swing trade. And it was probably like another hour or so later, then the 30 minutes started to confirm it. And then, you know, a little bit later during the day, also the turn on the uh, on the uh, hourlies also started to confirm it so with that as you can see everything's pointing up right now I also threw a Fibonacci uh, projection on this of this first inflection up as you can see right now that the market has moved up supported basically use this as, as, as a price grid to move up we'll take a look right here at the 15 minute chart a little bit closer and you can see what I'm talking about we made an impulsive move up this first wave a wave two and now I believe we're in a wave three and I think all the subdivisions of this wave three are now in because you can see we have wave one wave two and then this is that thing I call the theta point um, which uh, there's always either a price gap that happens here or a short consolidation the quick up down move and then it continues through this usually denotes the middle of a third wave a third wave of this degree anyways at this point in time so we like I said wave one wave two I believe this is probably wave three four five there's a strong possibility that right now this is the top of wave three and we're now doing wave four which basically has me looking for a profit as soon as we get up to this area or at the very least as soon as we get up to this area I'm also going to be looking to uh, to at least trail up my stop really tight at this point in time because I'm not sure I could it could continue subdividing to, to nine waves seven waves 11 13 waves whatever and, but the thing is looking impulsive I, I'd be assuming that the uh, next count if it makes it past five is going to be nine and that's how we uh, basically put it together and this trade that I took I basically got in pretty much right at this level here on uh, Thursday morning and right now as it is my stops right at this area because if this did pull back in a wave four it should not go into this area at least I'd like it to not go into that area and if, and I also set up alerts at various levels so if the market does breach these alerts I get a text message and uh, then I can just take a look at what's going on with the market because I'd hate to shut a trade out at this area right here only to see it go back up against me uh, it would still be a profit but you know something I'd like to try to eke out as much as I can out of it and this is how I start to look at these. Once you see this moving, you're going to probably see this triangular moving average just kind of moving so, sort of sideways right here and then move back up again. Whereas this right here might just make a small bump. And obviously, you can see the hourlies are still confirming that we're going up. So, anyways, this is uh, Mark Lambert. And, you know, this is from uh, Theta's Pendulum Trading Group, just our newly formed group. Uh, we hope you guys will join us. Uh, we are inviting all other traders to, to join this group also. And, uh, you know, that, that, that we want to use this group to basically showcase what we do, use it as a teaching tool also, so that way we don't have to write reports. And obviously, we're going to be making a lot of videos also, which we hope you find them informative. A lot of times, I find they're much easier to explain something, uh, you know, in a short, 10 minute video that to try to write something out for somebody and then they kind of miss the nuances of what I'm doing and showing as I move the cursor around the screen and uh, anyways that's pretty much it folks uh, you know I just everybody wish you a great weekend God bless Godspeed and good trading to you